Uh, on this on this album, I'm I'm working. I'm actually working with a completely different batch of people than than I've worked with before, and more for it. Kind of, I I played with the same people for a long time, and I was really really close with them, and they're all very good. Um, but I I think when you like I've been doing this for for quite a while, like maybe like I said eight, nine ten years or so. So just when you when you've been with certain people for so long you just kind of feel that I suppose it's kind of a bit like a relationship like not not that you feel you're stuck in a rut necessarily but to me thinking about going to make make another record I wanted I wanted it to feel different that's that was really it uh just for a change to to because because you don't know what you're going to get really so that was that was kind of exciting for me to, to just to try working with some new people and I met some new people on the last album and that, and that was kind of fun so I thought okay I'll try and just try and that's I think that's one kind of beauty of being like a songwriter you can kind of try out things like that first guy I, I approached was Ricky who's the drummer and I'd heard him play a couple of times in, in various bands and, and I knew he was like incredibly talented and so I'd, I just see I had kind of a couple of people in mind and I said I'd give him a shout first Yeah, so I had asked Ricky, did he want to do it? And he, he came up and we, we tried out some stuff and it felt great straight away. So that was deadly. And then um, Nicky kind of came about almost almost by accident, in a way, because he played in a, in a band with Ricky uh, for a couple of years, two or three years. And again, I had heard him play in that band and I knew he was incredible. Mm -hmm. And I, when I was kind of planning who, who I get, I thought, okay, guitar guitar parts are kind of sorted because I, I can play electric guitar. And Brian from Iron Sky plays a really great guitar player as well. And he was going to do um, some electric stuff on the album. He still is going to do a couple of tracks. Um, and Filippo was also a really good guitar player. So I kind of thought um, electrics are, are, are grand, you know. But, but he had seen me do a, a really small gig with, with Ricky, like an acoustic thing with percussion and... Uh, and he came up after and he said, could, could I'd, love to, I'd love to jam with you. And I was kind of, I was kind of thinking, well, I'm kind of covered, but uh, sure if you want. He, you know, he seemed like really into it and I, I didn't really know him at the time. And I said, sure, come along and we see how we get on. Again, I knew he was incredible, but I didn't know he would fit, if he would fit. So we had one, one practice or something like, and like straight away I was like, <laughs> okay, savage. So... Um, so that was Nicky and then he just just fell into line really cool and came up with really really beautiful parts and um, just savage. I know you never dream of keeping score and that you're well It was, it was quite strange actually because I don't know if, if I told you before but um, the bass my bass player um, the guy who played on on my first two albums Kenny 
Um, he was he was kind of lined up to come and do the recordings as well, and he he died. He passed away just before Christmas. Yeah, like the Jeez. December twentieth or, or something. And so that that was like that. Still, I still haven't even just saying it is kind of like mm. it still hasn't really um, sunk in properly like it was a sudden unexpected thing like so I was like Ugh. and like he, you know he, was, he knew about the album and we were working on tracks and we'd done a few rehearsals with, with the band and um, so then like about a month ago it was kind of like oh my, oh my god like and you, you can't really it's hard to even think about it you know or get to grips but you, you just you kind of you got to keep moving so so you, you try to grieve or, or or get used to the fact that, and but then at some point you have to make the decision. Okay, we need to get another bass player. So that's that's kind of where where Dara. We ended up with Dara because I was I had a couple of people in mind again, and I actually hadn't thought of thought of Dara at all because he he's a he's a songwriter as well, and he plays he plays guitar. Like I, in my head, he's he was a guitar player, you know. But he he's just a really really good musician and he t he plays bass as well which which I didn't know so I've been talking to Ricky and kind of saying um you know who do you, who who do you, I told him who I had in mind for bass and he said yeah they they could be good and I said but but what about Derek Pennon he's he's played in bands with me before he knows how I feel we lock in together really really tight and I thought oh Derek perfect because I've known I've known Derek for years as well and he's an incredibly nice nice dude you know. So I asked him what he into it and he said yeah, yeah. so ever since then it's, it's been cool. So it's kind of feels really really close. I think everyone feels really close because we've all known each other for a long time and different people have played with each other in different projects and stuff. So so there's a cool really cool togetherness there in the band. So that's so that's good. That's that's why the another songwriter friend of mine is just he's so good like he's an incredibly talented guy and um again uh, he'd be one of my one of my best friends like and i kind of said i'd like some piano and uh, some back and, and like, i asked him what he do some harmonies and back and vocals it's like he's one of the best singers i've ever heard like and i was kind of would you want to do back and vocals on my record like it's like yeah i really i'd love to she tells me she's studying Kind of looking at everyone that's involved in class. Oh. <laughs> 